And I want to share one thing Pastor Herbie shared with our team. Um, he said that as we came and we were passing out some candy, of course, and some little toys and some pencils and things that actually many of you gave and helped provide for this trip. He said when the American soldiers were here in World War II, uh, they would make the Filipino kids shine their boots and like really shine them and work really hard to do that. And then they would be given like a little uh, piece of candy or a little piece of chocolate. And he said that something happened when we came and we were just here to give. And even though it was just a small little token, almost like a nothing, you know, uh, uh, two, two cents, five cents, 10 cents worth of something, something clicked in the hearts. And he says he's never seen a team uh, from America come and serve like that and give like that. And so, um, man, it's just lit a fire, uh, I think, in me and in the rest of our team. Most of these folks live in five by five homes, regular to, to see open sewage lines. You know Pastor Scott, and he armed us with, I would guess, maybe 20,000 pieces of candy and toys. And we distributed all of those not more than two at a time, all with the hopes of sharing a little bit of love and giving them a little smile. Coming to Tondo, I had no idea how to prepare myself. And after being here, there's no way I could have prepared myself. Literally have seen the worst of the worst. However, I've also seen the most amount of hope that I have seen anywhere. Meeting an extraordinary group of volunteers who visit and serve every single day. That's what they do. It's given me hope for the people of Tondo. It has been an amazing trip. We have met a lot of people who have such a heart for God and are so willing to share it with the poorest of the poor. They just dive in head first. They do so much in a day. They work a job and they do all this volunteer work. They do uh, giving to the poor, they feed them, they give them the gospel, they love on them, they tell them that they have value, and they're sitting there and they have absolutely nothing, and they're being told that, and brought up in Christ of having value and, and worth. And that's the biggest thing I have learned here. So my biggest takeaway is just having hope. Uh, seeing the people down here are so kind, they're so blessed that even in the poorest conditions, they're super humble and they always have a smile on their face. Amidst overwhelming circumstances, or what I perceive as overwhelming circumstances, God is moving in a huge way. Uh, these people are oppressed and they're um, judged and they are pushed out and cast out by society. But God uses that and God is using that in Tondo, in Happy Land, and in Katapuran and all the areas that we went to, he's using that for his glory. These people are hungry um, and the amount of faith that they show uh, is incredible. I'm, I think it's given me a new perspective on what faith can look like. And, um, and I'm humbled to have seen and been a part of what we got to witness this week. Just to get the experience firsthand, literally like the, the light in the darkness. I mean, that's really, kind of what New Life Church in Tondo is. They, I mean, they're the light in the darkness. Communities have such a respect for the church. I, we walked around Happy Land and all we heard was Pastor, Pastor Tommy, Pastor Tommy. And, you know, we went in some of the worst places and I personally never really felt threatened because the respect they have for the church. It's amazing uh, what the church has done for them. There's been so many amazing things that have taken place uh, here on our trip in Tondo. I mean, just walking through the streets, looking in people's eyes, um, just saying hello to people, praying over people. Uh, what, a, what an impact uh, that it had in my life. I, I, I'm going home with just a bigger capacity for compassion and love and care. And just to know that even just a simple, uh, a simple interaction, I mean, God is in that, God uses that. These needs are not going down. We have got to grow as a body of Christ and we've got to do what we can. And in the midst of all the chaos, all the tragedy that we saw, I'm still encouraged and reminded that the gates of hell will not prevail. Jesus's church will win. You know, Joshua 1, 9 reminds us, has Jesus not commanded us to not be discouraged and know that he is with us 
everywhere we go. So thank you guys for your prayers and your support this week. We've got to get going right now. And I'm telling you, I want to be part of what God has started down here. Boy, do we need it back home. And so just a huge thanks for praying for us, for sending us. And I really do believe you're going to get a chance to meet the New Life Tondo team. I'm hoping to bring them over next year. Let them give us uh, what we desperately need. God bless.